With sleekness and technological sophistication being made the priority for their ships, the Martian Congressional Republic Navy has spit out some beautiful looking vessels. Following their major overhaul in recent times, the MCRN had created several new designs for warships that would drastically shift the balance of power in the solar system. One such design was the MCRN Heavy Frigate. Due to their scarce appearances on the show, the ship class hasn't even received a proper name on screen. However, some sources refer to it as the Orion Class Heavy Frigate. So for the sake of not having a canonical name, I will run with that. An easy way of imagining the Orion class is by thinking of it as the big brother of the Corvette class, made famous by the Rocinante. Basically, everything that the Corvette class can do, the Orion can do better. Starting off with the basics, the Orion class is powered by fusion, as is the rest of the ships in the Expanse. This allows them to propel themselves with the Epstein drive, and allows them to burn steadily at presumably around 1 3rd g, as that is the gravity you would find on Mars but can ramp up to extremely high Gs if the situation calls for it. Armament-wise, the Orion class is very well armed, starting off with 5-point defense cannons that fire Teflon-coated tungsten rounds at an impressive rate. The PDCs are spread across the ship to ensure maximum coverage on all sides. The ship has 4 rapid-fire torpedo tubes that are linked to a shared magazine, and has 8 single-use torpedo tubes at the front of the ship. The ship has an impressive load of 40 torpedoes, that being double the maximum capacity of the Corvette class's measly 20. Each torpedo is highly configurable to do a number of tasks, and were swappable between plasma, high explosive, flechette, and a variable yield of nuclear warheads. The hull of the ship meets the standard for all Martian ships of its era. There is no information about stealth variants of this ship class like the Morgan class patrol destroyer, but no doubt the ships in this class could undergo a stealth retrofit if they just slap some of that good old fashioned Martian stealth composites on there. Now moving on to the history of the ship class. We first see ships of this class when we are shown a part of the Free Navy in Season 5. The very first encounter was in Episode 4 when Alex and Bobby were covertly following the Bar Keith on its supposed supply run. Upon further inspection, Bobby realizes that the frigates were being given to the Free Navy to further bolster their fleet. At this point, these ships had still retained its orange and black Martian paint scheme. Following up, these ships are seen burning away from drummer salvage ships alongside the Pella and the Free Navy fleet in Episode 6. Next, we see one of these heavy frigates designated the FN Serio Mall in the heated battle against the Rosinante in the Season 5 finale. A point to mention is that the Serio Mall had its Martian paint scheme removed and you can see little bits of orange here and there. Despite the Rossi being at a clear disadvantage with its torpedoes and PDCs being mostly drained, with the help of Drummer the Rossi manages to get close enough to the Serio Mall to fire off 6 railgun shots, with the final shot puncturing the reactor and obliterating the heavy frigate. At the very end of the same episode, we see at least one more heavy frigate being used in the battle against the inner ships defending the Soul Ring. This one, unlike the Serio Mall, still had its paint scheme as well. No doubt this ship was very useful to the Free Navy because of its ability to overrun the inner ships with a staggering amount of torpedoes all at once. Finally, in Season 6 Episode 3, we see two brand new ships of this class docked at Ceres Station after the joint UNN and MCRN fleet were able to seize control of the station. Later on, the ships get caught in the water tank explosion that was set by the Free Navy. Last of all, I also want to share some of these heavy frigate concept art that I was able to get my hands on. These two seem to show the incremental steps and in design that eventually led to the final design that we got to see in the show. Immediately, you can notice the similarities between these and the Corvette class light frigate. To put simply, it looks like the Rosinante, except it's slightly stretched. However, this concept art looks more like if someone kitbashed the front of a Morgan, the midsection of the Corvette, and the back of the Razorback together. I'm actually quite fond of this design, and I wish they had actually put it to use, or at least put it in some background shots. Here's hoping that there's an epic battle in the Expanse finale, and maybe we'll get to see some of these in action. Overall, this ship is quite formidable. Even though it has one less PDC than the Corvette class light frigate, it more than makes up for this with its increased torpedo launcher amount and torpedo capacity. Unfortunately, this class of ship is not equipped with a railgun, and is easily susceptible to any railgun attack from enemy ships that can deflect its torpedoes for long enough to get within effective range. 
Thank you for watching my breakdown on the Orion class heavy frigate. Click the subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this on The Expanse or other science fiction shows and movies. Feel free to watch my video on the season 6 episode 3 battle breakdown as well.